Okay, hope everybody is doing well. I had what I thought was a pretty amazing Goodwill Bins trip. Uh, first of all, it was technically free, so I'll talk about that in a second. After the Goodwill Bins, I went and hit the retail card uh, market. So I said, okay, let's go to Big Lots because that's where I have found cards. That's the last place I think I found some retail. And I looked around, and I also looked at the... Um, uh, the DVD section there. A uh, number, like about a month ago, I'm guessing, they had some really huge blowout sale, like, you know, 50% off or 75 cents or I don't know, it's something ridiculous. 75% uh, off. It was a crazy deal and a lot of people picked up a lot of stuff. But it's back to the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 20 dollar range for uh, most. There was a lot of uh, duplicate titles that I already had, so I didn't need those, the Star Treks and that kind of thing. Did not need any of that stuff. Friends Season 1 doesn't do anything for me because I already have it. Now, um, I went to uh, the, the front register and I asked him if he had any cards and he said, no, we don't, sorry. So, okay, that's strikeout number one. So the next place I went to was the um, uh, Rite Aid. And I was told that usually the cards are on the toy aisle. Well, this Rite Aid doesn't have a toy aisle. They have some sort of like really like low grade like Dollar Tree type toy aisle. Um, but they didn't have a, a, a decent toy aisle like they used to. I looked all over the store. I seem to recall that a number of years ago. All the big toys are gone. So, or, you know, action figures, that kind of stuff. I saw nothing. So I, I, I looked at the register. She was helping somebody else. And I did see some cards there. There was some Pokemon. I don't know if it was sold there or not. I saw the tags for the Pokemon. And then I saw some Pokemon pack. Like, I want to say like a gift pack or one of those kind of like long boxes that have different things in it. And I didn't really see... I want to say a long box, but you know, the, the clear window on the front of it. And I said, okay, I didn't see anything there that I really wanted. I did see one Fairfield, for, I think for $5.99, a football. I said, I am not buying a football Fairfield. I draw the line at football, so I really don't want to, I want to do that. However, back to the first store, the Goodwill, I did find... Uh, I also looked at the DVDs at Rite Aid and found nothing um, to write home about. I also looked at the DVDs at Dollar Tree. I have a picture of that. It was just a teen teensiest section you ever saw, but I did buy one. But back to the first store at the Goodwill Bins, I found a mountain of cards, and so let's get into that here. So I'll start showing you in random, no particular order, the stuff that I picked up at the bins. It should be most of it. It's probably not all of it here. Picked up a huge roll of stickers here, these round stickers here. These are all, you know, pirate and beach themed, whatever. I'm going to use those for my autograph requests and whatever. Use those for sealing envelopes and that kind of stuff. So that is, there was a bunch I left behind because it was tore off. There was a big mess there, you know, it's always a big mess. And then um, I came across, well, let's just start showing you the cards and I'll get to whatever else I have in no particular order. Uh, we found all football cards, excuse me, except for a couple here. Um, here's a Notre Dame card. I couldn't remember if I had that for my set. George Kittle, which I put in a penny sleeve that I found at the bins. And then uh, that is the only card in there. There's the George Kittle. At least I think that's the only one in there. I found a Shack, which I put in a penny sleeve, traded it out. Some of the best cards were not in penny sleeves. There was some sort of liquid or gel that got spilled all over. I don't know if it was hand sanitizer or what, but it wasn't very good. I wanted to double check that I had that one for my set there. Kyle used check, so I collect all the 49ers that I can get my hands on. I want to say all the 49ers, but current ones. There's one that I may not sure. Buyers inches ahead, 100%, not 100% sure I have that one for my set. Another Kyle used check. There's a lot of them here, and I didn't buy all of them. Nobody was grabbing the cards. Bob Golick, again, I have to double check if I have that one. Don't know if he signs. I actually grabbed uh, Keldon Johnson. Didn't mean to grab that one. There was a bunch of basketball as well, too. Here's some sort of uh, a Nick Chubb card there with some sort of code on the back of it to get a digital card. And then I grabbed a bunch of these. There was tons of this old classic from back in the day. The classic NFL uh, draft of 94. Tons of that. I grabbed all the foil ones I could get because uh, it's a set of 20, but I only got about 11 or 12, so I'm not anywhere close. I ended up with a lot of duplicates of those. You can see there's a couple duplicates right there. I think there's one. One of these is like massively scratched. I thought it was a parallel, but it wasn't. And then there's a bunch of these with gold corners on there. I don't know what those are, so I grabbed those. I grabbed all the art cards I could find here. And then I grabbed anything that was the Oral Weight Seahawks, because those are really, really hard to find. 
um, but you find them in a lot of kids collections. I'm trying to still finish up both sets. One of them is massive, like 50 cards. And they were not the same card every loaf of bread. They're Jay Hilkenberg. Not sure if I needed that one for my set. And just some a few other random. There's a Brandon Ayuk, Patrick 13, um, Super Bowl card, all that kind of stuff there. Nothing outstanding. Just a bunch of cheap retail cards there. Uh, let's grab the next stack here. I found a couple of Universal cards. I left some of them. Again, some of them were really greasy from whatever that liquid is. There's some private information on here. But here's a Universal... Um, King Kong or something like that, some sort of Kong, Skull Island Kong. And then there's a Walt Disney 50th card. Well, I'm going to clean the crud off of that. I don't know what is on there, but we'll see. Here's a Christian Leitner. There might have been a complete set of those, but again, it was spilled all over. Some of the cards were um, folded in half. Somebody looked like they had tested some kind, sort of a slicer cutter and cut a bunch of the cards in half. Uh, here's a Keith Millard. Where were all the, the, the figurines that go with these starting, starting lineups? Empty sleeve here. Or A.J. Dillon, I accidentally grabbed that one there. Then we have Roger Craig. I might send that to him. That's kind of neat. Uh, Larry Croc Conjar. I didn't know if I had that one. Steve Largent. So I grabbed that one there. We have uh, Eli Mitchell. Another one of these art cards there. That's kind of neat. I'll try to frame some of these cards a little better here. Travis Etienne Jr. Because I accidentally grabbed it. I'll try to go through a little faster. Aaron Donald. Again, the many of these I did not mean to grab. Uh, here is a Corey Snyder, Corey Snyder, Corey Snyder. Some of these because they were in penny sleeves. I like this set. I actually have some of the tops uh, number to tens or whatever they are. Um, those are from the vault. Here's an old Howie Long uh, throwback prestige card or something like that. It's kind of cool. And then this was kind of neat. Uh, Dev McCordy. Nothing special there. I think it's got a fold in it, a little bend in it. But I took my chances. I had to throw this on the back. Here's another one of these. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, Shante Carver. I would double check if I need that one. And then you get random things like here. Here's a, a Tom Newberry that was in a, in a relatively new a top loader. So no idea why I even grabbed that one. Maybe I grabbed it for the top loader. But uh, uh, here's a Roger Craig again. So that's neat. Um, here's a Mark Messier. I think there's him in there somewhere. I think that's who that is. Rob Gronkowski. That was already in a penny sleeve. So there was no real rhyme or reason to this collection here. Gerald Riggs. Empty top loader. Doug Williams was already in a top loader. I grabbed this here because I don't know if I kept my stickers or not for my FLIR set. I'll have to double check. And it's also a Dodger sticker there. Here's a uh, Icky Woods. Get it? This I didn't mean to grab, but Davis and Reigns. Then we have a Keith Millard, so that's a neat one there. George uh, Kittle, I put that one in a penny sleeve. Don Mattingly, so that's one of the first times I ever found a Don Mattingly at the bins. I already have that. I don't really care, but I couldn't leave it. Um, here is Jimmy Garoppolo, so I don't know if that goes in my quarterback binder or my uh, 49ers binder. Yes, I have two binders of Bob St. Clair. Just grabbed it because on principle, just grab things like that. Another one of these gold cards here. We're already at eight minutes here. I don't know what this is, but it's um, some sort of flashy card of uh, Kaime uh, Fairbairn. Oh, we got a lot of cards to go through here. Uh, there's a Packers card there from Fleer. Fleer! And then we got some sort of Kirby Puckett insert there. Nothing really special there. We have one of these, a Je Jerry Rice card there. Um, and Buddy Ryan. Not sure if he's still alive. Uh, and just again, a few more cards here. Um, another uh, personal information on this Blue Man Group uh, Universal Ticket card or whatever. Draft, Dexter Manley, and Young Ho Ku. And we have. Christian Okoye. So a bunch of cheaps in there, it looks like. Then I put a bunch of the quarterbacks that I found in pages. And I did find a whole pack of the pages that I got last time. The ones that have, like, the pockets on either side. So, you know, we got from Bledsoe to Burroughs to, to Aaron Rodgers there, Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, uh, Jameis Winston, so Tom Clements, you know, that kind of stuff there. And then I can, here's the, here's the Joe Burrow, or Justin Herbert. I think there's a Joe Burrow in here somewhere. A couple of Herberts. A Jim Everett, a couple of Jim Everett's there. Uh, maybe send that off TTM. Uh, Ryan Tannehill and a Randall Cunningham. And then, um, I said I swore I saw a Burrow in here. Maybe I didn't get it put in the page there. Um, a couple other Perry Klein and another Aaron Rodgers, Boomer Esiason, Jim Miller. And there is, here we go. Probably in this one here. There's the Joe Burrow right there. And a few other things. Nothing really outstanding. A couple duplicates in there. Heath Schuler is in the mix there. Kelly Stauffer was actually a quarterback. Can you believe that? 
Uh, so there is that stuff there. And a few more cards here. Oh, here's a numbered one. I don't know who this guy is. This is David Najoku, and it's numbered to 199, so I thought that was a nice looking card there. Put it in a thing there. And there's another Okoye, and some more other just random stuff there. So that's pretty fun there. Grab this book here. This is Baby Trump. Oh, I'm kidding, not Baby Trump. Uh, Marvin A Star is Born by Tom Autograph. Tom, uh, Tom Armstrong, not Tom Autographs. I thought that was a fun book, and all the pictures look like a big fat slob of Marvin. He doesn't look like that anymore, but it just looks like either Peter Griffin or Baby Trump, or a combination of the two. Um, and just a hilarious book here. I just was reading this. Uh, everybody, the, they've changed to Marvin like five and six times already. Grabbed a whole pile of bubble wrap. We don't need to see that. Um, found a, a relatively brand new looking pile of glue here. I don't know if it's it's all new, but hopefully this glows on purple, dries clear, school glue. I need glue, so that's very handy. And we got this here. This is some sort of uh, Olympics bank. I'm not sure what that's from. I don't. Let me know what that's from. Is that Moscow? I don't know where that is from. Some bear with an Olympic belt on it. And he's a bank there, so I thought that was kind of unusual. Doesn't have any kind of markings on it whatsoever. So that's pretty fun there. Uh, the other thing was is that I found one of those coin albums. I don't have it here, but it had $13 worth of quarters in it. So obviously I bought that. My whole bill was like $10 or 9 something. So crazy. I got this um, uh, Grieg statue here. Uh, so that's kind of cool, a Greek statue. Not to be confused with my uncle Greek, I mean Greg. Uh, then I got some Ola, o Aloha at the Disney's Aulani. Aulani. I got three of those. I left some other buttons behind. I think I have one more Disney button, or at least I should have. Here's, no, there's four of them. Okay, well, there was a different a Disney button. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this one here. The other ones were all really icky. Un Unamale Ulemawa. Uh, Alani, so I grabbed one of those. Um, I should have grabbed the other one there, but it was kind of icky. Uh, a few more things here, and then we'll be all done here. I'm running out of time here. Um, but again, it was a very, very eventful trip here. Um, grabbed myself some lunch at the Dollar Tree, a burrito and a, and a drink. Uh, that drink is like two and a half bucks elsewhere. Um, so I saved, you know, a, a little over a dollar. Um, there's a Craig Erickson that was just floating around in the box there. I did not mean to grab that one, but it just ended up there. I found this Black Hills, North Dakota, or Black Hills Sturgis, uh, Harley Davidson Sturgis sticker. Um, Deadwood, Hill City, um, Badlands, uh, so that's kind of cool. That's neat. Another card here of Jim, uh, Jim Brown. So there's that one there. And I got this really uh, very interesting Disneyland pin with Ariel on it. So that's really kind of neat. Very neat Disneyland pin. And I'm pretty sure it's it's got the Walt Disney Company on it back of it. I'm pretty sure it's a legit one there. Um, pretty neat pin there. Racer, like I need need that for making mistakes. And then last but not least, we got two Dollar Tree items. We found one DVD. I don't know what Switch. Something Switch. Uh, I can't read that. Switch. Uh, Titan or something. I, or switch something or other. I don't know what that is. Uh, when a mission is impossible, they call him Switch. So I don't know what that is there. But any Andy Lau, uh, Zhang Jinshu, and Chai Ling Lin. So I figured I might as well grab that one. I couldn't get the back slip off here because it's got that Dollar Tree sticker on there. But that's what it looks like there. Pretty much the same. Um, but it had the slip cover there. So that's pretty interesting. That was the only DVD I grabbed. And I grabbed this weird uh, blue Ford Maverick for whatever reason. Muscle Mania. I accidentally creased it. It got bent there and I, cre I accidentally creased it. What a big deal. Not a big deal there. So for me that was a pretty decent trip there. I got to sort through all this stuff. I'm not keeping all the cards. The duplicates I don't keep. Um, but at least I I did get some pages now I can get my previous week's LCS trip put in pages I can get myself a little more organized that was a long-winded video phew but when you find a bunch of stuff that's pretty much all I grabbed like I said a bunch of it was $13 in quarters absolutely astounding um, you find just everything mixed in and when I showed you those cards I had to hide the private information whoever donated that had some more private information you know check numbers and all kinds of weird stuff and you don't know what to do with that you know give it to the employees do it this or go this or or rip it up in the store or send it back to the person because if it's checks with huge amounts of money um, do I you know do you send it back to the person it's gonna be pitched or something 
something. It's I'm not keeping any of that kind of stuff. But it just you see that kind of stuff there. It's like, what do you do with this? I mean, people have found things like ten thousand dollars, seven thousand dollar checks at thrift stores before. It's like, oh my gosh, what do I do with this? Um, you, you know, you have no clue what to do with any of that kind of stuff. But anyway, to make a long story short, I didn't find much in the retail. Found pretty much nothing except for that Fairfield box. And I didn't know if they had one or two of them. But the cards were kind of hard to see. But it looked like there was absolutely zero baseball product. None. So as bad as a baseball product has been this year, you can't find it. I, I have just given up. I've given up. But it's amazing that, as, as I said, you cannot find sports cards at Goodwill. And they just proved me wrong. Amazing. Amazing deal there. So just a bunch of, you know, nothing cards, just TTM fuel, just filler space binder cards. Uh, nothing really rare or anything like that. But thank you for watching.